Hey guys, this is part three of the Majestic Sword Modeling tutorial. So let's just keep rolling. All right, let's select this here. You can see it's a little sharp over here. So let's go ahead and just uh, average that out just a little bit. Uh, hmm. Smooth it. Yeah. Oops. I extruded it on accident. Smooth. Let's go ahead and select this one as well. Smooth. Smooth. Yeah, that's looking a lot better. Let's go ahead and try and uh, flatten these. Are we still in? Yeah, we're still in uh, perspective, I think. No, we're in orthographic. Yeah, actually, let's just uh, go ahead and uh, select these. Let's not select these. Oops. Uh. Oh, also, if you want to box select to deselect things, I used to do that a lot, but now it's changed. So if you press B and right click and drag, nothing will happen. It'll just uh, deselect the box selection. So I press B and hold Alt and left click and drag. So let's go ahead and press SZ. Uh, not really. I guess we just have to do this uh, like a polygon modeling. So select this. It's going to flatten it. Select all these. Bring them down. Where is this? These are the center ones. I'm not liking the shading right now. We might have to change that. Hmm. Smooth a few of these. Actually, uh, I think that's fine. Let's just bring it down on the Z axis. Now let's go ahead and add a um, a loop cut there so it can be a little better there and uh, we can actually uh, go ahead and just select uh, this whole bottom part here and smooth it there we go okay so uh, let's keep going with our blade so a way I like to do this is uh, first of all let's go up here and let's go ahead and add a loop cut bring it up to right about there and then afterwards we will go ahead and press B and press S uh, 0 okay press and then bring all this in like so and then bring press GZ and bring that up press control uh, it's either alt M yeah alt M at center and we merge them all together and now if we go and press control R again uh, actually no we can't because we can't uh, do that so we can actually just select this uh, edge loop that we brought in here and edge slide it up there and then press control E uh, or control R sorry and just drag a uh, drag this up like so actually let's go ahead and uh, undo all of that and thus uh, because before we merged it here we can still add a loop cut so let's just go ahead and add those two loop cuts here to make this sharp It's very sensitive there. Okay, let's add one more up here. And then we'll go ahead and select these. Alt M at center. There we go. We have a nice sharp point there. Okay, one more thing we should do here. Let's go ahead and alt select this inner edge loop here and this inner edge loop here. And then we'll go down, zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, all the way down here. And we'll, we're going to deselect this here. Let's press uh, B, Alt, and uh, deselect this here. And then we'll go ahead and do the same here. We just want the, the, the blade uh, edge loops. Oops. OK. So now that we have that, we'll go ahead and press S, Y, and uh, we're going to zoom out here and press SY and we're just going to scale in like so and then we have that like so and we're just going to scale in some more because this makes it kind of thin and then we're going to go ahead and add some loop cuts 
uh, we have to be at the edge up here to add those cuts. And we're gonna uh, we're gonna add them between here and here. So add one here and add one here. And um, same thing here. Okay, so let's see if that made any weird. No, actually, it looks kind of good. So one more thing. Let's go and press Control R along this here, and we can go ahead and add a edge loop there, like so. And now let's go ahead and select this center edge loop here. Actually, let's go ahead and bring this closer. Come on, edge slide. Did I select it? Oh. Hopefully it works now. Come on. Oh. There. Oh. This is very... Okay, whatever. Let's just press GZ. Let's actually press S, Y, actually no. Never mind. This version of Blender gives me a lot of headaches. But it's still in alpha stage, so I can't complain. Let's go ahead and press S, Y here with the blade one selected. Okay. And just uh, keep thinning it out so we can get that uh, sharp crease to the center that makes it look sharp. Okay, and now I can select this here. I don't know uh, why it's acting up today. Right there. Let's see where we are time wise, okay. And then uh, we can go and actually ex extend these with S and Y, extend them out some. And then we'll go ahead and add it, uh, some edge loops. Uh, okay. And actually, let's go ahead and smooth these. This, that, actually, this other one here, it doesn't seem like it was a very good idea. So. Yeah. So uh, we don't need the one towards the center. We can just do this one right here. Uh, but then it looks all soft. Yeah, we can just. OK, so now we have that. Let's go into sculpt mode. Now let's press N, or sorry, T. Over here, let's press smooth. So we can just uh, smooth this out. We need to turn up our strength. I don't know if it's affecting it or not. It doesn't really look like it. Well, a little bit actually. We just need to smooth this out. And uh, we can actually go into face select mode really quick and select all these faces that are getting that weird pinching effect. And just press smooth a few times. W smooth smooth. And then press Alt S to bring it out. Or actually, just S Y. And <laughs> one more time with the sculpt mode, hopefully. Actually, bad idea. All in all, was a bad idea. What we'll do is just select this here, and we'll just bring that closer. And that should do it, yeah. And then we'll just uh, deselect these up here instead. And then we'll, uh, oops, got these two as well. And we can try to just edge slide these over so that they don't have as much as effect. Okay, so now we need to fix this here, and there is a problem. But um, it's probably we need to do this, yeah. I need to add another edge loop right here. Maybe one more here. Get that a little sharper. Okay, and I think we're done. Yeah, just one more thing. 
Yeah, we need this to be a lot sharper here. Yeah, that's looking better. Okay, so let's just look at our blade. Um, yeah, okay, so uh, last thing to do. Hmm. Actually, that's fine. I'm happy with this. So, uh, actually, you know what? We should, uh, because I'll set up a lighting scene so that you guys can do a turntable render. So, one more part. Okay, so see you next part. All right, guys. Thanks. Bye.